Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. So I haven't done a plan with me on this channel in a pretty long time, but I thought this was one that was very important for me to record and document and get out here on my channel, not just on Instagram. Um, and this is the Black Lives Matter Planner Challenge. So if you've been around since last year, you might remember this. So I want to give a little bit of a backstory on what this is, the creators of the challenge, and how you can participate. So Queen from Queen's Fancy Plans and Katie from Definitely Katie. I will put links to their Instagram accounts in the description box. Last year in June, they worked together and came up with a planner challenge for us to, you know, bring the whole planner community together and, and really just show our support for Black Lives. And this was right following George Floyd's murder and people were heartbroken and upset and angry and the planner community was falling apart. It's when Planner Geddon happened. If you know, you know, if you were here, <laughs> I know you remember. It was a very difficult time for the world and you know, the planner community was no exception. There's a lot of stuff going on. Um, I don't really want to get into too much of it, but just a brief summary is that companies were showing their true colors and they were showing um, who they cared about, basically. And people, you know, finally said, you know, this company doesn't care about me. This company doesn't align with my values. This company is on the wrong side of history. And a lot of people in the player community kind of, um, you know, really reassessed, I guess is the best way to put it. And took a step back and just thought about, you know, where, where am I spending my money? Who am I spending my money with? You know, am I supporting black shop owners? Am I supporting companies who truly care about me and the causes I believe in? And um, for me personally... This was when I, I call it a breakup because that's really the best way I can put it. But this is when I broke up with Happy Planner. And again, I'm not going to go into the full thing. It was a lot, but I do have a video coming up on my breakup with Happy Planner and kind of where I was before that and then how I was feeling during Planner Geddon and then where I'm at now. Um, so definitely stay tuned for that. Be sure you subscribe if you have not. But um, this was just a way for the community to come together because there was so much division. You know, people, you use this planner and you use this planner and, and it, it was a mess. It was truly, it was very traumatic. It was a mess. And this challenge, you know, was something that Queen and Katie created to bring the whole community together. And I'm going to take this excerpt from uh, Queen's Instagram. This was in her caption. I'm just going to read what she wrote. Last year, the planner community came together in solidarity by creating black and white spreads to show support for black lives after George Floyd's murder. This year, we are inviting you to join us again by creating black and white spreads for the week of June 14th through 21st. We also want to encourage you to shop with black owned shops. We would love it if you would share some of your favorite black owned planner shops in the comments. At the end of the month, we will be creating a document that lists all of the recommended shops and sharing it with you as a preamble that you can reference when shopping in the future. And then Queen says, This challenge is very near and dear to our hearts, and we are looking forward to connecting with you again as we join together to show support for Black Lives. This is something that, you know, we really want to keep going forever. Um, you know, just to continue to reiterate that Black Lives Matter, not just, not just in June 2020, this has been going on for way too long, and we, as allies, we need to help um, uplift black voices and, and really, you know, we have so many amazing people in this community and I'm going to be very transparent with you. When I first joined this community back in 2017, all I saw was white girls. That's, that's all I saw in the planner community because that was, I was shopping with, you know, happy planner and that was all the accounts I was following. And I was very new. So I was just following the most popular people and they were all white girls. And it, it didn't even occur to me that there's more than that in this community. This community is extremely diverse. And I think it's important that we continue to uplift. And, you know, since it's been a year since George Foley was murdered, and while there were, you know, many black people killed at the hands of police before George, and unfortunately many after, I think that 
the murder of George really was kind of like where everyone came together and said enough is enough. And I think there's a lot of reasons for that, but I really do think that the biggest reason, there's two main reasons. One, it was all videoed. It was all right there in your face. We all saw it and you can't ignore it when it's right there in your face. And two, I think we were all in lockdown or at least we were supposed to be. So the majority of us were in lockdown. We were home. Uh, if you were lucky, you were working from home, like myself, but you had a lot more free time. And I think it really allowed people to focus on, okay, you know, th there's no excuse. I can't just keep going on with my life and ignoring this. This is a huge problem. You know, since it's been a year, uh, I can't believe that it's been a year, but um, I loved being able to participate in this challenge again. And my spread is very different this year than it was last year. Uh, the one I did last year was in my mini Happy Planner. That was all I had. <laughs> all I have is Happy Planner stickers. And the stickers that I used in this spread, the majority of them are free printables. I found these online on Mom Envy blog. I will put a link in the description. She designed these and just provided them so that we could use them. They're just free printables. I cut them with my Cricut and it was just really great to be able to use those because I did place an order with Dolce Planner, but the stickers weren't, I ordered too late. The stickers weren't here in time for me to use it for this spread. So um, it was really cool to be able to use these free printables and I thought they were super cute. And I did use a few stickers from um, Honey Bee Shop Bay Boxes, a couple from a Happy Planner sticker book. I used um, for June and for Juneteenth, I used, those are from uh, the Honey Bee Shop from one of the Bay Boxes, the Back to Basics, I believe. So that was a digital that I printed out on sticker paper as well. So if you would like to participate, I highly encourage you do. The hashtag is BLM Planner Challenge. I have all this information in the description box. Um, and head over to Instagram and search that hashtag. And there's a whole bunch of amazing, just beautiful spreads of everybody coming together and participating in this challenge once again. So thank you for watching and I will check in with you at the end.
All right, guys, that is the finished spread. I am so happy with it. I love being able to use my blackout inserts from Light Spinner Action. Um, I just, I love how it turned out and I hope you guys enjoyed watching. So thank you again. Be sure to check out the description box for all the information on this challenge and ways that you can help. Thank <laughs> you.